Hey, how's everybody out there in YouTube land? Uh, and I wanted to talk to you about something that's kind of got me a little upset. Uh, but for the last roughly three months, I've been driving for Uber. And I've met a lot of interesting people. And there's something that I discovered uh, that saddens me. Uh, and it's that the young ladies who get up my car, the 20 some odd year olds, 30s, whatever, are so petrified and so guarded and kind of sit like this. And I, I would say, are you cold? Let me, you know, make this AC less, you know, make it a little warmer. I didn't want them to be uncomfortable. And what I come to find out is that the male population, particularly, I guess, in the young people's age, the 20s and 30s, the males are so disrespectful and so uh, uh, inappropriate that the girls, the, the young ladies, are just like they're trying to go like a goalie for their bodies, you know, like a goalie in a hockey game protects the goal from the puck, but they're trying to be a goalie on their own bodies. Um, and they're, I just, it saddens me that that these young ladies have to be so uncomfortable and so on guard uh, at all times, you know, and it's, it doesn't speak well for the male, you know, for my fellow male population. And so I wanted to, you know, kind of point this out to the, to the men out there and say, you know, let's clean up the act here. Uh, can you imagine if everywhere you went, you had to protect your body and hold it back because people were going to go grabbing at it? Uh, and, and not just, you know, your head or your arms, but your privates and, uh, you know, turn the tables in your mind, turn your tables. How would you like it if every time you went out, every place you went, you were constant in fear that somebody would grab you, somebody would violate your space, somebody would try to push themselves on you whether you liked it or not. Uh, that's a miserable existence, people. So I was raised a gentleman, uh, and so I never did such things, and nor will I ever do such things. Uh, but apparently, uh, from what I understand from these young ladies, uh, it's really gotten out of hand with the young, the younger crowd, the younger men, uh, and they just, you know, they just prey, basically. The females are prey, and the men are just going. Young men are going after them like, you know, catching a fish or whatever. I don't know. It's 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 really disturbing. Uh, I'm the father of three daughters. And so, yes, I do, you know, that does affect my, my uh, feeling on, on everything. But like I said, I was raised to be a gentleman anyway. So, uh, you know, I just, I can't fathom behaving in such a manner and, and, and being able to look myself in the mirror with such behavior. I just can't, I just can't fathom it. So I think uh, we as a male population should put out a sincere apology to the female population and most importantly back it up with changing our behavior changing what we're doing here uh, just think about that having to guard your body every time you're around the other sex because that person is very likely going to grab at you that's what's that's what's happening to them that's they get into my car and they are petrified because they say, oh, God, there's a 69-year-old or 59-year-old guy in uh, pervert or whatever. They, you know, they don't know. Uh, you know. And then, you know, they realize I'm a gentleman and then things will calm down. But the fact is, is that they're not getting gentlemen as a rule. They're getting predators as a rule. And I don't mean just in a car. Or I'm not trying to put Uber down in any way. I, that's not what I'm saying. I'm just, they're getting them whether at the bar, whether it's at a bus, whether it's in a car, whether it's on the street, whether it's in a restaurant, well, it doesn't matter. But guys are behaving this way apparently all over the place. So give it some thought, people. Uh, and, um, 
you know, let's let's clean up our act, guys. Let's clean it up. Good. All right. God bless. Take care.